Right, we are doing a video today to show you how to remove a rear hub. What am I showing this light around for? Um, on a, oh, it's flashing. Right, on a Discovery 3 or Discovery 4. Actually, it should be the same on a Sport. It will be the same on a Sport 2005 all the way to 2013. Why are you going to remove your hub? The most likely reason I can think of is the rubber boot on the CV joint that goes in here needs replacing or your CV joint or your drive shaft needs replacing. Um, you may have the bushes worn here and you need to press new bushes in. Um, that's a possibility. Anyway, why, why are we doing it? Um, because, uh, because our rear breakers, we've got a new one of these. It's just an old one we've got lying around. We've got a nice new one we've got off a relatively late Discovery 4 that we bought on eBay for a ridiculously cheap price. Right, so let's have a look here how it's, what, what, what things we've got joining it to the car. So we've got one do this bolt. We've got one do this bottom bolt here. Right, we have got one do the handbrake here. Right, now on our car, he's cut the handbrake, so we're not gonna cover that, but you will have to take the brake disc off and disconnect the handbrake cable from inside. Right, and then the last bit is we should have that tie bar, and that tie bar is bolted in to this hole here. And obviously you've got your drive shaft that goes through here, spline, and there will be a big hub nut on there. Look, that spider's web now, it's a bit of plastic. Right, there we go. Right, look, discovery four, right hand, right. So there we go, that's what we're up to. Right, so Gary's gonna do this today. Right, because right, and the other reason we bought ourselves a new impact driver. Oh, look at that! And we're going to give it a little bit of a test. Right, okay, let's have a look. Oh, where's my torch? I need my torch now, Gary, so I can illuminate you as you work and point things out. So I'm, as usual, going to talk Gary through. We got the lads in the workshop training, so I'm going to sort of talk. I'll try not to patronise you too much. Right, what are we going to get done first? We reckon that hub nut was the first thing, don't we? Yeah. Right now, hub nuts are interesting because they have got a little ring around the outside. Can you hold the torch there, Gary? And what we've got is, you'll notice on the bottom of the hub nut, you've got this little, oh, look at that little pointer. Um, you've got this groove in the, in what is effectively in the threaded part. And then, and what they do is they knock out, you can push this in here, and that forms a lock nut to stop the nut coming undone. Now I've checked by just running my finger around the thread, that this is a conventional thread, i.e. to remove it, we have to go anti-clockwise. Sometimes you get threads that on drive shafts that you have to turn it clockwise to undo it, but this doesn't seem to be like that. Right, so you need to just knock that out, Gary. Get that little point in there. I'll have the light. And you just gotta try and push that out the way a bit. Just have a look. And you that should and lever it down if you sorry lift it up and that should push it down. Have a little look if that's yeah, just tap push the push the end of that up a little bit and that should lever it down. That'll probably have it out of the way. Have a look. Does that look like it's come out of the groove? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, go on then, right. Get your get your big Right, so now the trouble is we've got the car jacked up, so that disc is gonna spin. Yeah. So we'll have to stick a screwdriver in the in the vented disc. I'll, I'll hold the screwdriver in the vented disc for you, Gary. All right, let me turn that light off. I think we've got enough light. Give me the screwdriver. All right, now I'm gonna put that in. Oh, the other screwdriver, give me the flat one. It's in front of you, there we go. All right, I'm gonna put the screwdriver in. The, I'm sure this isn't a workshop general practice, but that'll be all right. So that should be okay. So right, we've not used this before, have we? All right, yeah. All right, have you worked out us on undo, is it, yeah? yeah. Whoa. We like that, don't we, Gary? Yeah. Whoa. Right, that's good. Right, next thing we've got to do, excitement over, we've got to remove this Torx. And now this is holding the the brake disc on. Now, the, we could leave that all on. We could leave that on there, but we'll loosen that while we've got it on the car. We don't need to do this to take the hub off necessarily. Although you will if you've got to get to your handbrake cable, won't you, Gary? So anyway, it's easier to loosen it now while you can jam the brake disc. All right, Gary, have a go. Get your torques. Ah, Gary's going to use his impact driver. Yeah, well, you could try it. Try it. Try it. Sorry, I meant use not the impact driver. My bad. Use the 
what do we call it? I've forgotten what we call that now. <laughs> so, mine's gone blank. Yeah, give it a tap with that. It is an impact yeah. driver of sorts, isn't it? It's just a manual one. Yeah, you've got the head for it somewhere. Oh, yeah. Right, we've got the impact driver after I have brain. Right then. So, obviously, this is going to... If I put on, I'm going to jam the disc. Right. And then the impact driver, they're quite cheap. And as you bash it, they turn and give a slight rotation. They also sort of wake up the... Because just giving a bit of vibration helps loosen it up normally. All right, and here we go. Moment. Oh, oh, hold on. I've got to put my screwdriver back in. Go on, you might have to turn it a bit. There you go. There you go. Yeah, if you're doing this, it's, it's often worth ordering a new one of those. Uh, yeah, you can leave it there, Gary, because it's only loosening it before we take the caliper off. Right, what do you want to fancy doing now? Well, you're here. Should we do that top? So we have a go on that top bolt, Gary? Yeah, sure. So you're probably going to need a deep reach socket on that one. What size was he? you got the deep reach socket there, haven't you, Gary? Yeah, so that is a 19. 19. No, 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 19. Yeah. Do you remember that song, Gary? No. No. See? Uh, it's a 21 on the other side we've got. Yeah. Yeah, you could use a... We couldn't find a 21mm spanner, so we've got another... Right. Oh. Nate. Oh, he's got it. It's all going to plan. We haven't pre-loosened these. We're not just making Gary look good. You just are good, Gary. I wish. <laughs> you wish. Oh. Right. Now I think I. Now what? I wouldn't take that off completely, Gary. Because what we're going to do? Stop there a minute. Yeah. What we're going to do? We're going to we're going to hammer on the end. We I say we hammer on the end. And if you leave the nut on, if your hammer yeah. accidentally slips and catches the thread with the nut on, it will yeah. protect the thread. Right. So have a go and just just see if that will drift out. Then that's moving, isn't it? Yeah. Now now unspin it all. Right, and I'd leave the bolt in for now just to keep it safe and right. we'll undo all the others and then we'll just drift them all out at the end otherwise it'll start flopping out all over the place. Now the other thing I forgot to say, it's just come into my head, is on that drive shaft, just what, we shouldn't have taken that drive shaft nut all the way off. Can you just put it on a couple of turns, the drive shaft nut, the big one that we took out with the no, impact gun. Sorry. Where's that get to? Have a look. There, there it is. Put that on. I just want to check that that drive shaft will move back. So before you take the drive shaft nut off, get it on three or four turns, and just give it a tap with a hammer, and just see if you can feel it bouncing back. We're, just to see. Bounced. Yeah, like that. Just yep. gently there. Yeah. You see that? You see how that's going back? So we know the drive shaft not seized. So that's good, right? You can just spin that off again now. Yep. Right. <clears throat> Let's do this. Right. I'm gonna have to get underneath now. Oh. Right, which one are you going for now? You can do that big one or you can do that tie rod. It's up to you. Do, either, do the tie rod, this one here. Yeah. That one there, you yeah. got it. Now there's no, I don't think you need to get on the other side of that one. Oh, is he that, is that's the right size socket? I wouldn't use a long reach unless you need to, you'd lose the leverage. Okay. Right, so that's 18. It, Gary's just gone to get an 18 mil socket. God, he's nothing stopping him today. Right, now I think there's some tricky little camber adjustment washer in here. So when you get it, don't... Let's have a little look inside, because I think you can adjust the camber. Take that take that off, but don't take any... I'll take it off, Jen. Let me see. And have a look inside what you take out. Ah, could you see... Right, take that out of the way. Let's have a little look, see. Is there... What's on the inside of that? No. Can't see a camber adjustment washer there, maybe. I might be making it up. Right, pull that tie bar out the way then. There's, there you go, oh, that seems straightforward enough. Right, now what we're gonna go for, let's have the caliper off. Yeah. So yeah, Gary will point out the two caliper bolts to you. Well at the top here. Hold on, I'm not able, yeah. Oh gosh, I can't really see, there you go, yep. There. One there. And uh, one down there. Yep, got that one. Right, I'm right underneath now. Who needs a four-poster lift? 
Oh, he's tight. I can get the get the breaker bar on that. Yep. Yeah. Right, we cheated. We used our new toy, the impact drive. That was good, wasn't it, Gary? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We did have to lean some on, but that that impact drive it does make light work of it. I am not sponsored by anybody. If you could be sponsored by anyone, who would you be sponsored by? Well, did you know that someone offered to sponsor me, Gary? You not heard this story? A, a male cosmetics firm. They obviously <laughs> thought I could be. I'm serious, and um, and they 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 were going to send me some free like hand cream and. Oh, I thought I'd undone that one. Hippin' it. Oh, let me get the impact driver on it. Put the impact driver. Put the socket on there. I think I'm not yeah. I'll tell you the rest of my story after I got that one off. Right, all right, you got it there. Right. All right. Yep. Oh, that's not having it, is it? All right, let me let me do this. Right, we are really struggling, even with our new toy, to undo one of those caliper carrier nuts that one there in fact we've rounded it so we're in a bit of a pickle but we've got a plan b haven't we so we are going to undo now whether this is a better plan a we're going to undo the caliper from the sliders now that may turn gary we may need a spanner so let's see if we can undo that oh yeah you have to react it a bit right now is that spin look by the rubber grommet is is that turning there no you see that little, there's yeah. a little nut there. So yeah, you can undo that one. All right, you're lucky. And we got some luck with us. Undo the one above it at the top there. Oh, is that spinning or is that all? Yeah, that's good. Now, sometimes what you have to do is, if it starts spinning, where you've got your finger there, Gary, there's flats on a little, you have to get a spanner on there. Do you see where yeah. I'm, can you just point it out to people? Yeah. Um, if that's spinning, you need to put a spanner on that to stop it spinning. But we're lucky. And now we can remove the main piston and we'll leave the, we'll leave the carrier in place. Now, that gives you a bit more access. What you could do then, if you got stuck like we are, you could grind that off now. You've got enough access to grind the head off that bolt and then you could get the carrier out. But we'll do that when it's off. You can, that's not right. Dangers of using that super impact gun. Um, right, what are we doing now, Gary? We've got to undo that big bottom bolt now. That big one down there, yeah. Where, where, we're at. where, where your finger is. One, yeah. he, right, let's let's get the wire brush out and give him a clean because all that dirt is going to get s sort of sucked into that nut otherwise. I mean, that's pretty dirty. We'll get that cleaned up. Right, we're going to come at it from the other side. So we put some WD 40 on it. We're going to have a go undoing that big bolt. So. Let's have a quick go with the impact drive. We tried the prior bar and it's not having it. Is that having it, Gary? It, yeah, it's, it's spinning. Oh, it's spinning now. Maybe the nut on the other side. We'll have to get a spanner on the other side, I think. Yeah. But that's the start, right? Right, here we go. We got it now. We got a spanner. Oh, we did have a spanner. Oh, go on. I'm concentrating now, Gary. Right, we'll let Gary. Now, if it gets really tight, Gary, you might have to do the old trick where you wind it forwards a bit to yeah. let some of the dirt out again. But we're doing all right so far, aren't we? Right, we'll get on and do that. Right, we got that one out. That wasn't actually too bad, uh, but he's a fairly big old bolt, that one. Right, now, Gary, the only thing holding that, you've got the hub nut off, we got the bottom off, we got the stay bar off. Actually, I was just going to show this, this top bolt here this is if i get the camera in the right place that is where your camber adjustment is i haven't worked that out yet um but you can see the position of where it was so right what are we doing um you should better take that top bolt out now gary you can give him a little tap with that because we know it's we know it's mainly loose is that giving you enough to you may have to wiggle the hub as well that's it take the weight off it now if not you can drift it out so use that, yeah, use that there. Drift it, hold on, I'm pointing in completely the wrong place. My camera's gone way with you right now, Gary, yeah, my <laughs> I don't know where I'm pointing. Yeah, Go on. Yeah, just let it, tap it out. That's it. Yeah. 
We'll have to unscrew it if that's the only way it's going to do it. Yeah, it has been a long since this has last come off because there's copper grease is still in it. Yeah, they hadn't had that caliper carrier off though, and the pads were new in it, weren't they? Look, the brake pads there, there you go, look, they look quite new. So, but they haven't, you can do the pads without doing the carrier caliper, so. That's it, he's nearly there! Wait, right, look, that's all going. Right now, see if you can pull, you're looking for that central drive shaft, Gary, to, yeah. to disappear in. You see at the front, look at the front, that's yeah. it. Is that, you don't want to pull the CV joint. Right, so tap that, use your drift again, and just tap that back while pulling the hub towards you, tap the drive shaft away from you. Do you ain't got that many hands, have you? Go on there. Yeah, with the other end, with the other end around, in the middle, because that middle ain't doing anything. That's it, see? Right. Now pull the hub towards you a bit more. All right, and try giving it a, knock the drive shaft back a bit more. Careful, because it might all fall out. That's it, we can see the drive shaft coming back out now. Right. Oh. Still not having it. Right, let me just use a screwdriver to... Hang on, it's coming. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's just yes. all the rust on this bottom. Yeah, that's it. Right, now we've still got the ABS connector, we forgot. Now the, the handbrake cable's cut off, but we need a little socket there. You'll have to just take the weight of that yeah. and I'll undo that ABS connector. Let me show people what we forgot. Oh, we're not good, are we? Right, we forgot to disconnect the ABS sensor there. Um, it's got a little bolt holding it all on the side. Where am I looking? Why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. Um, and you have to just wiggle it out, undo the bolt and then wiggle it in the housing because that picks up on the on this little ring here and that tells the ABS system whether your wheels are turning or stopped. Um, so there we go, there's the hub off. Not not a textbook um, thing, but a real life for how to take your rear hub off your Land Rover Discovery 3, 4, Range Rover Sport. I hope that helps someone out.